Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to copy and paste tables or information from the web using Power Query instead of doing it directly or rather copy and paste directly. Okay. So what we are going to do is to copy this table over here which is the top 10 uh, world richest billionaire okay. to something like that. Okay. So notice that uh, this table has the dollar sign and the billion and the word billion with a space here but we are just going to reduce it to uh, numbers okay so there's a trick within this okay so i'm going to surprise you with a trick that many of you don't know so uh, stay tuned and listen all right okay so without further ado let's begin okay, i'm going to show you the usual method that people always do which is not recommended that is to copy the table and pasting the table like this okay which is not what we want it's not ideal or something like that Okay, so this is something that we do want as well. Okay, so as you can see, there's increase, decrease, the words increase, decrease, the words increase, decrease due to the icons over here. Okay, so this is not ideal. This is something that we do want. We, we want to copy and paste using Power Query. So I'm going to show you how we can do this, and I'm going to show you a trick over here that we how we can remove the space. Okay, this space is not a normal space. Okay, so what we can do here is to click on data. Okay, get data. Right, so you key the URL. Okay, so we copy the link over here. Okay, copy and paste the link. All right. So wait for the table to load, and we shall go to twenty twenty three. So we see the preview. Okay, so notice that notice that this column has the dollar sign, the word billion, and the space here. Okay, so this is something that we want to remove. All right. So you click on transform data. Okay, so you can see this table now, right? So we are going to do some modifications. Okay, so usually what people will do is to remove, to extract the text, extract the numbers, okay, in between the dollar sign and the space. Okay, so let's do this and see what will happen, All right? So let's go to transform, the extract text between delimiters, okay, okay. So the dollar sign is the starting delimiter and the space is the ending delimiter. So let's click OK and see what happens, okay? So you notice that only the dollar sign is being removed. So what happened over here? Okay. So actually the ending delimiter, okay, which is supposed to be space, is not being activated over here. Okay. So I will teach you the trick. Okay. That's because the space over here is a non-breaking space. It's called a non-breaking space. Okay. We need to use this trick. Okay. Which I will teach you now. Okay. So let's uh, undo this action. Okay. So we go to replace first. We shall replace this space. Okay. By nothing. Okay. So we click replace values. Okay, you cannot. The value to find is not the space, but rather the non-breaking space. We click on advanced option. Okay, click on replace using special characters. Click on this, insert special characters, non-breaking space, replace with nothing. Click OK. Right, so now you can see, okay, the break, the non-breaking space is being removed. Okay, now we can use the extract function. Text between delimiters. Okay, we want to extract the numbers between the dollar sign and B. Okay. So the starting delimiter is dollar sign, the ending delimiter is B. Now click OK. Okay, so there you go. But we are not done yet because this is still in the text form. Okay, you click on ABC, you click on decimal number. Okay, there you have it now is in numbers. Okay. Now you click on the title, okay, click on insert in billion, enter, okay, and then you go to home, click on close and load. All right, so we are fetching the data. So there you have it, okay? So now you have the numbers over here instead of the dollar sign, the space and the billion, right? Okay, so now for the last part, we just go to table design, click on this, click on this. Okay, so there you have it, okay? So the trick over here is the non-breaking space. So sometimes when you go to Wikipedia or other websites, okay, you are unable to remove the space over here, okay? So now, so have you learned something new over here? Okay, is to use Power Query to extract the table. And uh, using the and uh, using the replace values to replace the non-breaking space. Okay. Okay. So I hope you have learned something new today. Okay. Namely the extraction of the data from the web using Power Query and also removing the non-breaking space. Okay. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and I will do even better videos. Okay. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.